Hi, my name's Tom. I'm a personal trainer from London and I'm going to take you through my experience of running 110k in Patagonia in Argentina about six weeks ago. The start of the race was tense. Uh, there's always a nervous type of energy in the air before you do these sorts of events. We all know what's coming and it's not going to be pretty. So the race started at 7 p.m., which was not a good start time. It basically meant that within the hour, we were running in complete darkness, and that darkness lasted for the next 10 hours. Okay, quick sit rep. I am about 20k in. Uh, I've been running for about three hours. The first 10k was um, quite frustrating. The course was very narrow. Uh, which meant that along parts, uh, the route, things got very congested, uh, which was really frustrating. Anyhow, it made me run slowly, so perhaps it was a blessing in disguise. Um, let's see how I go. 20k in, about 90k left. I'll check in later. Yeah. 25k in. Feeling pretty good course is steep and it's really hard. As advertised, the terrain was completely savage, endless uphill slogs, never-ending uphill slogs, and in complete darkness, it just adds a new element of challenge. Sometimes I would look behind or ahead of me, uh, as opposed to just looking at my feet, and I would just see endless streams of headlamps. And um, it was quite cool, but at the time, I didn't enjoy it very much. Fortunately, the course was littered with very well-stocked checkpoints and very professional stuff, uh, which is so, so important for races like this. And a lot of the time there was a, a roaring log fire, uh, which, was, which was really good for morale. From 47K through to about the 70K point was more running in complete darkness. And it's difficult to describe how horrible running in complete darkness is, particularly when you've done over a marathon's worth of distance. But I can say that when the sun finally did come up over Lake Lacar, I believe it's called, um, that was a very, very special moment. The sun's finally risen. I feel like absolute crap. It's so hard. Maybe we'll see the lake in a second. Cool. It'd be nice if I just had to look at the lake. It's a real effort to film now. I thought I'd do it. 75k. Feel like shit. Long way to go. Any 
have more running, more crawling, more shuffling, and I finally make it to the 90k checkpoint where I see Mike again. How are you doing? Who gives me a much needed slap. Not so good. 93k. It's very difficult to describe how exactly you feel after 20 hours of non-stop running, crawling, walking. I'm super super chuffed to have finished this race 110k with 5,000 meters of climbing I'll be honest was hell on earth especially as it went through the night for the first 10 11 hours um, I want to thank Mike for his first class support coming into a checkpoint and seeing a familiar face is really really good for keeping morale high and uh, you know he had to <laughs> get to various places at silly hours in the morning so Michael thank you very much you're an absolute legend and I'd also like to thank Chris who has put this video together for me uh, he always does an amazing job and he will be joining me for some events later in the year and next year so uh, stay tuned because I'll be making some more videos and um, yeah entering some more horrible races I uh, hope you enjoyed <laughs>